As I mentioned yesterday, Monmouth University released the results of a new poll which found that a majority of Americans say the federal government's actions are actually hurting them and that President Joe Biden's policies are not benefiting the middle class. The poll also found that nearly half of the public names either inflation or gas prices as the biggest concern facing their family right now. But do those appear to be the Biden administration's biggest concerns based upon how much actions they are taking on those issues compared to other things like abortion and transgenderism? With me now to, uh, to talk about this and more is Congressman Dan Bishop. He is a member of the House Judiciary Committee and a member of the Homeland Security Committee. He represents the 9th Congressional District of North Carolina. Congressman Bishop, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Tony. I'm delighted to be here. Now, I know you've been, uh, the Congress is back home uh, this week and a lot of uh, events going around the district. What are you hearing from your constituents? Well, it certainly isn't about transgenderism uh, or, and, and frankly, what I hear about abortion are people who are grateful that the United States Supreme Court has finally and appropriately taken the court out of the business of deciding the issue of abortion and returned that to the people. So I certainly haven't uh, heard the other perspective in the conversations I've been having, but a lot of relieved Americans from those por points of view. But the, but the main thing that's on their mind is exactly what was reflected in that Monmouth poll. And to see those top concerns lined up, Tony, uh, inflation, gas prices, and then even after that, the general economy, way down below that, uh, abortion and guns, it, it, you know, it's like 5%, 3% of the poll, poll respondents. That ought to tell the, the Biden administration something. All, all we can say is the priorities of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and their administration are not the priorities of the American people. Yeah, unless someone just thinks this is political, this is a partisan uh, conversation, we have an ongoing uh, list, the Biden actions document. You can find it at TonyPerkins.com. And just, 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 a, just a sampling. On July 5th, the Department of Justice announced it was uh, paying uh, $1.5 million to implement a transgender programming curriculum in all federal prisons. On June 28th, the Biden uh, Department of Health and Human Services announced a five-point plan to pr promote abortion in response to the Dobbs case. June 23rd, the Biden administration announced a new rule expanding Title IX to include gender identity and sexual orientation in women's sports. On April 29th, the Biden administration went to court to stop the enactment of Alabama's law protecting minors from irreversible surgical and chemical transgender experimentation. And that's just the recent top-line items. What have they been doing to address these issues that Americans are really concerned about? Filling the gas tank and putting food on the table. Tony, the, their fixation on transgenderism and, and issues like that, but particularly that issue across government, across every agency, you know, it's hard to describe as anything other than obsession. And, they, and then the best that they can do to the contrary on these uh, kitchen table issues of how people get by, which if the federal government is not responsive to that, my word, that, that every person. I think we may have uh, lost the congressman. We're going to see if we can uh, get him back. The reality is Americans are concerned about those issues that, I mean, they're not not concerned about these other issues. They are. But right now, the the issue is with Inflation at record levels. I mean, filling up the gas tank. I mean, it is. It, it takes a good chunk of your paycheck just to fill up the gas tank and then put food on the table. And so, not everybody. I, I don't. I mean, I'm not going to say the administration is responsible for all of it. But when you look at, we talked about this yesterday with Stephen Moore, that energy prices are a main factor in driving up costs because energy is a part of everything. It's a part of the transportation system of getting food from the field to the, pr the production to your grocery store to your home. Um, there's so many products today that involve uh, oil, uh, refine the refineries are involved in that. So all of these things are being, these prices are being driven up by the cost of energy. Now, clearly, it, it is difficult to say this administration is not responsible, given their policies, their hostility toward fossil fuels, trying to force Americans into their green energy.
plan. I think we've got uh, the congressman back. Dan, are you with us? Yeah, I'm not able to You're hear back Tony. Now. Nope, he's still he's not hearing me now. Now I got All right, can you? Uh, okay. Sorry, All right, Tony, let's pick up where we. Uh, Let's just pick up where we left off when you, you were just talking about the, the, the misplaced priorities of this administration. They're just not there. There's a fixation. And, and I, let me ask you this question, because when you and your colleagues push back to this radical agenda, you're the ones that are accused of being focused on transgenderism and on abortion. You're simply pushing back on the advocacy and the advancement of this radical agenda by this administration. It's absolutely true, Tony, and uh, sorry for the technical problems, but, you know, if you think about it, I think back to that hearing in the Judiciary Committee where I asked a question that's being asked by uh, Matt Walsh and by us uh, uh, in, the, in the Senate hearings for Katanji Brown-Jackson. I just asked w- radical witnesses Democrats had decided to bring into the committee on abortion, what's a woman? And it, you know, just threw them into a tizzy. One of them gave the predictable answer that it was uh, whatever somebody identifies as, and a, a man could get pregnant and have an abortion. What, that lets the American people see how far off these folks are. And uh, it, it's, I mean, it's very discouraging, but they're the ones who are on it all the time. We're simply trying to defend common sense. Yeah, uh, common sense is something in short supply in Washington, D.C. right now. The this fall, voters will have a chance to go and vote. I think in part the administration is trying to distract people, but I don't think they can't because they're reminded every time they go to the pump, every time they go to the grocery store. You know, my view of this, and I've been around a while, Dan, is that if the Republicans capture the Congress, that's going to bring gridlock, which is actually going to bring stability to Washington, D.C., and box in these crazy initiatives by this administration and may give our economy a, a breather. And there's great value in that, Tony. The other thing that I'm very hopeful about is we're, we're going to bring a very invigorated oversight effort. And so a lot of these things, like you pointed out, what the Bureau of Prisons is doing on transgender issues, We'll be able to dig in very aggressively and keep a spotlight focused on these actions by agencies. And I think that itself will uh, serve a purpose as well uh, by by uh, discouraging or brushing back the administration from these radical ideas that they're intent on pursuing in lieu of the interests of the American people. I I think you are absolutely right. I I cannot wait to have... uh have the opportunity to cover some of these oversight hearings because I think it's going to be very, very revealing, even more so about the priorities of this administration. Dan Bishop, always great to see you. Thanks so much for uh, joining us this afternoon. Thank you, Tony. All right, Dan Bishop represents the 9th Congressional District of North Carolina, one of the good guys fighting on Capitol Hill for the things you and I care about.